Okay, welcome back to Football Manager, where we have made it to the last six games of the season. I think I said last week that I was going to do all three PSG games in this episode, but yeah, I didn't realize there were literally only six games left. So we're going to do the two Champions League legs and the Middle League game, which I think is Angers, and then we'll do the Coupe de France final and the last two games <laughs> next week. If there's a Champions League final, I think we devote a whole episode to it, because, I, I don't know, that's never happening again. We've gotten so lucky. I don't think we can beat PSG. I think they're the best team in the world. I don't think we can beat them over two legs. Let me just quickly, well, we'll go over the results that we had in between. You can see, see we're still second in the league. We beat Strasbourg 1-0. That was painful. They didn't really do a lot, but we just couldn't break them down. And then finally got a penalty right towards the end, and Adam Ida scored it, and then had a much easier time against Leon. They didn't really have a chance. So these are the six games left on the season. We have PSG, <laughs> Angers, PSG, PSG, Monaco, and Sochaux, if that's how you say it, which it definitely is not. If we can beat PSG, in the Champions League semi-final, we will have a Champions League final, presumably after... Well, let's just check that quickly. Um, when is this? Is there not a date on that, really? Uh, pro, uh, I don't even know how I would go about doing this. How, why would there not be a date on that? Uh, oh, here we go. So, do we have final? No. Okay, I assume it's after the end of the league. I'm guessing. I would imagine it is. Um, so the league... Import oh, look! Mohamed Bayo could be the top scorer. It's unlikely with both of these two still in the competition, but look at that from Mohamed Bayo. Nine goals. What a player. Um, Dortmund won last year. Oh, God. Dortmund are so good. Oh, they got knocked out. Bayern knocked them out right. Okay, so Dortmund being out is a big thing, clearly, because they are obscenely good. Um... I forgot what I was doing. Right, the league. <laughs> so PSG also won the two games they had. In between, God, Bio must just be infuriated by ha Haaland. It's it's everywhere. Um, so PSG have, who are their remaining games? Well, us, us and us. They have Nice, Strasbourg, and Lyon. I guess Lyon is it. On the final day, if we're level on points with them going into the final, I mean, this run... <laughs> Is probably quite worrying for us. 5-0, 3-0, 3-0, 1-0, 2-0, 2-0. They haven't conceded a goal since the end of March. Yeah, it's not... doesn't bode particularly well. Um, anyway, if we go in level on the final day and Lyon can get a draw, because we play the worst team in the league, probably, so if we can just get to that one level on points, you never know. You just don't know. It could, <laughs> it could be enough. Let me let me just go back. How have our three games gone this year? So this was the last time we played. They won 3-1. Right, they didn't deserve to win 3-1. They won 3-1 on what probably should have been a draw. At most, a one goal win. But it probably didn't probably didn't deserve to be a win, honestly. 1.6 to 1.19, it's not a massive difference. And then we had did we have a game outside of no, we've only played in we, no, no, all right, the, the League Cup. League Cup, the, the Community Shield thing. The Trophy de Champion. Uh, we played here, and they did deserve to win this one, but we won 3-2. <laughs> so this one was a bit... This one was pretty much the opposite. Well, not really, because they deserve to win both. So on XG, they've beaten us in all three games this year, but that one, 3-2, we won. And then the first game of the season, they won 3-2. Again, they deserve to win this one by... About a goal, so... Nah, fair enough. Haaland has scored... <laughs> How many has he scored against us this season? So, three in that one. Did he score both of them in this? I don't know, just, just one there, so four. How many did he get in the last game? Uh, where are we? Four, I didn't, didn't need to go into this, I could have just clicked on it. Four, five, six. So he scored six goals in three games against us this season. So maybe targeting him is a strategy... Um, is there anything to cover? I think there is, you know. No, maybe not. Did I, I had I already done the Jean Mario thing? 
I think I had. Had I done... I think I'd already I already covered the fact that we got Jean Mario. I believe. Yeah, I, I think I did. Oh, we got our budgets for next year. It's good. We've actually got a lot of money to spend, which, fair enough, I've taken us to the Champions League semi-final, the Coupe de France final. We're going to be first or second in the league, probably. Um, I deserve money to spend. But I don't even know what I'm going to spend it on. I mean, I guess expanding the squad is the answer. I think I gave Rashani a contract. Um, I think he broke me down. And I ended up giving him, like, 13 or 14,000 a week. It's fine. Like, it, he's a decent squad player. And we are very thin. Like, our squad is extremely thin. So, it's definitely going to help to have more players. Um, like, Braff is going to be gone. I'm not going to sign him up. Unless he, like, gets us through to the Champions League final and scores the winner. Then I will sign him. Um, but I'm probably not going to... Unless... Wait, when is he out of contract? He is out of contract in one year. So maybe Man City don't see a future for him? Because, I mean, statistically, he's really good. He just hasn't... He's been okay. Not really. 20 appearances, 8 off the... He's got 2 goals, 2 assists. Okay, no, he's not been very good. 4.33 XG? He's just not taken advantage of it. Yeah, maybe he won't come back. Um, And again, that's, that just shows that attributes aren't everything. Because he's definitely better than Jao Mario, on paper. And Jao Mario has 11 goals, 13 assists. Um, if I didn't cover it in the last episode, I think I did, though. He is coming in permanently for 4.5 million or 4 million, something around there. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the business we've done, because like we've got a lot of these players coming in permanently. Richards is in, uh, Jean Mario's in, Javi Simons is in. Ida, uh, my, my problem with Ida is I think he'll be expensive. I think he'll cost like 10 or 15 million, probably. But he's had a good season. Like, look at those numbers. 11 starts, 15 sub-appearances, 11 goals, 4 assists. He has had a good season for us. So you never know. We might bring him back. Um, but for now... I mean, there's nothing left to do. We've got to go and beat PSG. Can we do it? I doubt it. Um, I did give a new contract to someone. I don't know if it's gone through yet, so I can't... Well, it's going to be a high-wage one, I'm assuming. Um, no, it, it was Busquets, actually. Um, Hantanji, I, I don't know. I'm so conflicted on this. You know he's like my favorite player. He's 30. We've already got him for another two seasons. I, look, he's not being highly paid enough. He's on 16 grand a week. That is <laughs> criminal for a player who's been as good as he has. I'm just thinking if I get, if I give him a four-year contract, which is probably what he's going to ask for, on like 35,000 a week. It, it, like it already says he's getting worse at these things. Is he going to start getting worse all over? I mean his mentals are probably only going to well apparently he's gotten worse at teamwork somehow. Um is he going to start getting worse like quickly? Cuz I don't there's no way I'm replacing him in next season or even probably in two seasons, but what about when he's 33? Do I still want him to be on 33000 a week or 35000 a week, whatever he's going to ask for? I don't know. Um, it's the same thing with Bertrand. Bertrand thinks he deserves a new contract, but he is getting worse. I don't want to give him... A, I'm not going to give him a new contract. We've got him for another year. That's all I'm going to have him for. I'm not going to be bringing back 36-year-old Ryan Bertrand. I don't think. <laughs> I mean, I say that. He's taken us to a Champions League semi-final. But he is getting slower. His stamina is going down, he's less agile, he's less balanced, he's weaker. I don't know that we can give him a new contract. But, like, having him for four grand a week, absolutely, I'm delighted for that. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to selling him if an offer came in. Um, but I would definitely want, like, a good set-piece taking left back to fill that spot. Um, yeah. Okay, let's let's stop stalling. Let's go to this game. I think we can do this. We've had a lot of games, so we have tired players here. Busquets is tired, Hamtanji's tired. We just have to push through. We don't really have a choice. Our squad is too thin. We could play Kravatsyuk over Bertrand, but honestly, Bertrand's probably better. I, I don't know. I don't think there's really anything 
Like, to get Hautanji out, we're not going to play either of Bertrand or Kravatsiuk at right centre-back, and Capellini's way more tired than either of them, um, and Richards is bad too. Um, it's unfortunate <laughs> that all of this is cropped up at the same time, but this is the team we're going with. Um, I'm feeling a goal with a cross from Braff to the back post, Omega heads it across and Bio knocks it in. That's kind of the strategy here, is whip in crosses from the left and let Omega get to them. I uh, I don't know. A draw would be fine. Even a one goal loss, maybe. But no, a draw is what we're going for. I mean, a win is what we're going for, but I would take a draw. Um, let's go for it. Oh, wow. No Neymar in the starting 11. It, it's, a, it's an obscene team still. Oh, what? Hakimi is the main one that we want to get rid of. Um, let's, I don't know, tight mark him. No, that didn't work. Let's go for what he's saying. Let's just tackle hard. Um, Messi, it doesn't, Messi has honestly been kind of ineffective. <laughs> Messi is like the one we don't really have to worry about. Um, and I'm going to do this again. I'm going to trigger the press because I think we actually nullified him a bit in the last game, but Hakimi is one of the big issues for us. Um, no Neymar is great. Also, he's kind of tired. That's good, actually. Braff might be able to run him a bit ragged. Braff and Sirachi, maybe that's it. Maybe this left wing, like Messi and Hakimi, and they're both tired. Right, I'm actually I'm actually taking advantage of this. Um, I am going to, and I really rarely do this. Uh, I'm going to focus play down the left. I think that is going to um, and hit early crosses. Can I... Yeah, I, I might even suggest floating crosses. No, I'm not going to. Um, maybe hit early crosses? I'm going to go for hit early crosses. I think the goal here is to get the ball on this left-hand side and whip it in to Omega at the back post. That is the strategy here. And I think it's going to work. Okay. I very rarely... In fact, this is the first time in this series that I have, like, tailored where we're playing to an opponent, I don't feel it's often necessary. I think if you've got a good tactic, it should work against most teams. Um, we owe them. But yeah, this this feels like a good... Okay, I'll actually do this. Both teams carry some good recent form. Doesn't matter how confident are you? I'm looking forward to it. That's not an answer, though. Uh, do you hope your team can produce... <sighs> what What is that question? Like, what am I going to say? No, no, I hope they're terrible, actually. Uh, I don't see why we're not capable. Manuel Omega starts again. Yep, he's class. Okay, this is it. Oh my god, look, it's already working. Hosemir into Braff, to Busquets, to Omega. Come on! Oh my god! I am a tactical genius. 37 seconds. Oh my god. <laughs> This is it. Do I go super defensive? <laughs> probably not yet. It's probably too soon. With 180 minutes to go in the tie, <laughs> it's probably a bit early. Okay, this does not feel like it's a highlight for us. Oh, go away, Haaland. Go away. Go away. Go away. Yeah, get away from goal. Okay, as long as Haaland's not in there, I don't care. No, get... No, get... No, I said Haaland. Okay. Haaland was getting in there. I didn't like it. Kempembe. To Paredes. To Mendes. To Haaland. To Richie. Oh my god, he missed! Oh my god, this is it. This is our year. Haaland missed a chance. Yeah, see, Messi's just not an issue. Bio. <laughs> I mean, that's a real extreme taking of the focus play down the left thing. No, 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 don't pass it to Hakimi, though. Uh, Dybala. Back to Kimbembe. Can, okay. He scored a lot of goals this year, Richie. Did I could get to clear? Hakimi to Richie. They are not an easy team to play, Hakimi. Good tackle, Yankov. Paredes. Hakimi. I don't love that this, they're still coming. Richie. Is this a counter-attack somehow? Oh my god, Dahlberg, what a save. I mean, really, I think Haaland just booted it straight at him. But that's okay. We're the masters of corners. Actually, they if any team scores a corner against us, it's always them. They have actually scored like three against us, I think. Dahlberg. Oh my god. 
Farinez could never. How how embarrassed do you think Farinez is? He like insisted on a move, and now he's playing for Tottenham, and I think they're like mid table Premier League, and we're in a Champions League semi final. Okay, I don't love that Busquets has given all he's had after forty minutes, although he was one of the tired players. It's not great. Oh no no! Don't let him score! Come on, get that quick. Okay. Oh no no no! Go go go! He's in. Prof. Jaden. Oh come on. We got a corner, though. If there's ever been a team that are effective from corners, it's this Dominic Yankov ball into... Oh, Donji! Oh, come on. No, no way. There's 10 seconds. Ref, blow. Ref. Ref, it's over. Ref, how are these seconds passing so slowly? <laughs> okay. Thank you, referee. The ref is on our side. Um, Look, we don't deserve to be one in up. You know that. I know that. But the strategy is working. Um, We are probably going to have to take Busquets off. I'm going to... Oh, no, he's re he's playing so well, though. Um, Do I go a bit more defensive? I think I will. I think I will. Oh, I don't know. I mean, we're not ahead because we're playing well. Or are we? Not really. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking if I drop to this formation. Um... Problem is, we don't really have, like, Capellini to come on, I guess. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to try that. I think I'm going to try that. Because they are getting in behind very easily, and this is probably a less tiring role for Busquets. Um, rather than the box-to-box -box role. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for that. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> um, I'm delighted. Honestly, I'm delighted. I'm not even going to... I'm just going to send you back out there happy. Be happy. Look at all them. They're so happy. That's what we needed. Oh my god, they took Haaland off. He didn't score against us. They've got Messi up top. Ramos in. Can we hold... Oh my god, Ida, good work. No, okay, we didn't... I, I thought we might get a counter out of that. <sighs> Paredes to Messi. How is Messi still on? Richie. Oh, god, Dahlberg. It was not great from Dahlberg. He left it way too open. Um, that's okay. Honestly, we're still in good shape. We can still get them on the counter, we can still get a goal, and even if we don't, 1-1 one, one is a good result. Um, who is the most tired, I guess? It is Busquets, but Bio's having a bad game, so let's... Let's get Roshani on and flip him with Baraf. And let's let, let's let Roshani take apart uh, Sergio Ramos. Rashani is about to prove why I gave him a new contract. Oh god, no, come on, don't let us lose this right at the death. Get out of the way, Inv advice, what's happening? I didn't even get to see it because there was advice on the screen, it was in my way. Come on, win this, win this, win this. Can no, 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 don't let, don't let Sergio Ramos pass. Come, who the hell is this, Rashani? No way. There is no way that's our side. Okay, it's not. There is no way 58-year-old Sergio Ramos just ran past someone. Oh, that's so embarrassing. <sighs> Ramos, 51-year-old Sergio Ramos, is really gliding past you, Rashani. It might have been Sirachi, I don't know. But whichever one of them it was, that was pathetic. Oh, <sighs> well, Haaland didn't score. <laughs> I think this is the first time we've played them that neither Haaland or Neymar have scored. The thing is, we're still in it. We get the home leg next. That's obviously our better chance. We Going there and taking a 2-1 loss, absolutely not embarrassing. But it hurts because it probably shouldn't have been a loss. That goal right at the death, that's painful. But a, a decent result. Ooh, this is a big one. I've just realized that league, league games are so huge now. Uh, this is also kind of unfair. Well, this, well, I guess it plays both ways. Because we're fighting each other in the league and the Champions League, I guess... It's harsher on them that they have to play so soon after our Champions League game. But it's also better for them in the Champions League. So it's worse for them in the league, but better for them in the Champions League. And it means we're going to have to play quite soon before the second leg of the Champions League. But we'll have a longer break to our league game. So hopefully this catches up with them. Otherwise, it means nothing. So, fingers crossed, they lose this one. Or draw it. Honestly, either works. Oh, come on! 90th minute. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was so close. 
We just needed them to drop points. Tell me they at least played their full team. If they played their full team, Haaland, Neymar, okay, Messi didn't play, Hakimi did, Ramos, okay, Donnarumma, well, that doesn't really matter. Um, okay, well, at least Haaland played and didn't come off, I don't think. And Neymar played, okay. Well, hopefully they've tired themselves out a bit. We will switch up our team as much as possible because we have Anger, who are pretty much guaranteed relegated, but not quite. We can confirm it. Actually, we get to play both of these two in our last three. The problem is that the other game is Monaco. Oh, Ratomie is excited by us. Has he found a club yet? Have you found a club? Hey, he found a club! Le Puy Foot. How far down are they? Surely he's killing it. Two goals, one assist. He's not for sale. He's like their star player. I'm so happy he got a club. It's shocking that this is how far down he has to go. He's now playing against the Anger second team, the Montpellier second team. He's playing against... <laughs> I don't think this is his level, but I don't know. Okay, there you go. Rashani has pledged his future to the club by signing a two-year contract worth 1.5 million. So it's not too bad. 14,500 a week. No, I didn't really want that, but yeah, look, he, he's a club favourite. We love him here. He's done a lot for us. We need players. <laughs> he ha He's happy to be an impact sub, so he's happy to just get like some minutes here and there. Um, he's going to be handy to have in the cups and stuff, so that's fine. We've also got Busquets for five years, 22,500 a week. I was actually pretty happy to get him down to that. Um, yeah, I mean, he's 25, right? He's 25, we got him until he's 30, he's still getting better, a little bit at least. These are going to, I mean, if you look how good they are already, by the time he's 30, these are going to be all green, I'd say, or like close to it. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to have him start for this team for the next five seasons. Okay, we are sort of relying on our second team, question mark, to get us over the line here, because we need to rest players. We have that PSG game in like two days, I think. What is it? Sunday, I think it's Tuesday, so I think it's in two days. Um, they got to play on Friday, so I think it is worse on us. I think we got the short end of that, but we're putting Sirachi, Hautanji, Bio, Omega, Busquets, Braff, we're putting them all on the bench. That does mean we're playing Zidadka at the right wing. Um, I don't think I've ever done that before. I didn't know he could play there, to be honest with you. I just slotted him in there, and it was like two and a half stars. Works for me. So... I don't know, let's hope this works. I, I don't know that it will. Maybe I switch these two. I think Malambo. We want to see Malambo further up the field, so let's try that. Um. Also, let's switch these two. I, I don't let Yankov do the deep-lying playmaker thing a lot, but he's a great passer. He's got great vision, so he's just not great defensively, which is why it probably doesn't make a lot of sense. But this is Angers. We should dominate this game. Let's go win it. Kravatsyuk takes it forward to Roshani. Round his man. And okay, Pekovic out to Yankov. Strike it! Oh! Maybe Dominic Yankov is supposed to be the deep line playmaker. That is a beauty. What a goal. Okay, corner, Yankov. Into Ida. Into she Oh, there we go. Xavi, only his second goal of the season. He's more of a supplier than a scorer. But that's nice. Xavi getting into scoring form right before the return to PSG. Okay, corner for us, Bertrand. Whips it in. Capolini. Oh, lovely goal. Bertrand into Capellini. Capellini gets his second of the season. That was probably also in a game where he replaced Tantanji on the front post, so lovely goal. Oh no, actually, I think he was in midfield. No, it was against PSG, actually. He was in midfield in that game. Okay, we got Yankov, Richards, and somebody else off? I've, I've forgotten who now. Well, Ida scored um, with an Omega assist. Who did I take off? Richards came off. Yankov came off. Who else is likely to play in the next one? Oh, Xavi. Xavi came off. So we got those three off. And um, we, we got to go. Can we get to 10? We're, we're, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Reinildo to Dumbia. To Reinildo. Tackled by Zidadka, who's back at right back now. Omega. Definitely more comfortable at right back, as you can see. Uh, how Tanji wins that, because he's the best centre back. Probably able to play the game. Oh, Busquets was going for a, a real nice assist there. Reinildo. Maybe Zidadka's not that comfortable at right back. <laughs> he's just not... Oh... That was not very helpful. I think the 10-0 is off the table. 11-1 is probably not super likely. 17 behind, it's probably probably a bit much to ask. Um, Imagine we both slipped up and Monaco won the league. Like, we both lose one, draw one, and Monaco get through. I mean, Monaco could beat us, and they would probably go ahead of us if they won by two. So, 
That's definitely not out of the question, but we need PSG to slip up. Are they going to? Probably not. Um, this season is likely going to end with PSG knocking us out of the Champions League in the semi-final, beating us in the cup final, and winning the league on goal difference. So it's going to be quite painful, <laughs> I think. Okay, I don't think there's really any need to change things. This is probably our best team, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, without Mario, at least. So yeah, we are hoping this will be enough. I don't think it will. I hope it will. Um, we got unlucky in that first leg, probably shouldn't have lost. So let's try to not lose this one. Um, fingers crossed. We can do this. Maybe. Possibly. Probably not. They're playing Messi. Where are they playing these players? Is Dybala playing center attacking mid? Okay, let me just look at their team quickly. Is anyone tired? None of them are tired. Oof. Uh, that's not great. Um, we're going to keep doing this because it has really nullified him. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to deal with these ones. We're just going to tackle them all hard. No, Messi's playing center mid. Okay, well, that, that's clear. Well, they're playing a defensive mid too, though. Messi, <laughs> why is Messi playing centre mid? Uh, there's no point in triggering a press on him because he's just gonna get out of it. Um, do we mark him tightly? He's not really caused that many issues for us. Do we mark you tightly? You have caused some issues coming from deep, but I I'm not that bothered. I think that's fine. Um, we'll tackle those too hard. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. I guess. Um, I can't just keep saying we owe them. I'm just going to say nobody expects us to get a result, because it's true. I don't, you don't. You don't have Ryan Bertrand out. Um, you're just taking a rest. You know, the league is important too. We're in a great place. Uh, we can stop him. I think. Maybe. Um, the main thing here is Bio needs to get a hat trick so he can be top scorer. Um, so, so let's start with that. Okay, first highlight. It's for us. 23 minutes. Into Xavi. Xavi back to Richards. That's a lovely bit of play. Back to Xavi. Back to Richards. Back to Xavi. Into Yankov. Chips it over. Braff! Oh, oh! He's offside, is he? Oh, I think I think he's on. Please be on. It didn't show the goal thing. He's not on. Oh, he's on! Oh my god! What do we do? <laughs> this is still only extra time we're getting to, even if we hold out. But we went 1-0 up in both legs. That's so exciting. If we can get a goal and clinch it. Oh my god. No, 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 not for them, not for them, not for them. They haven't had a highlight all game. No, no, please. Not again. Not a second game. Not a second game. Not Ramos again. Oh my god. <sighs> Bio! Get out to the right! No, Bio! No, not Haaland! Hamtanji, come on. Show why you're the best defender in the league. Show him. Show him. Oh, not Neymar. Please. Oh, what a save, Dahlberg! What a save! Oh my god. Oh my god, Dahlberg. Oh, he's everything Freenias was not. He's tall. <laughs> he's stopping PSG. Come on, no highlights. Or one highlight for us, but no highlights would be fine. Extra time. We made it to extra time. Honestly, that is a massive accomplishment. We took PSG to extra time. Can we hold out for 30 minutes? We do get another sub now. So our only two subs left that are actually first team players are Kravatsyuk and Ida. Um, Sirachi is like the most replaceable by one of those. Um, because where's Bio? Oh, Bio is kind of wrecked. Maybe we get Bio off. God, that's a big hole though. He's not having a great game. I mean, here it is. This is it. Adam Ida. Go and show us. Go and show us why you deserve to be in this team. Why should we sign you? Can we hold out for extra time? I have no idea. Can we get a goal in extra time? I doubt it. <laughs> They're tiring too. They have, do have Jovic off the bench. Wow, they have like... Did they just get three players? Why are their like, team so fit? Oh no. Oh my god. Go and get that. Okay. <laughs> I thought he might have been... It. Can we have no highlight for this corner? Boo. Get this clear. Come on. Come on. Get this clear. Get this clear. No, no, no. Dahlberg. Oh, my God. Pontus Dahlberg is having the game of his life. 
And if we get to penalties... No, stop. We're not getting to penalties. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Um, Chris Rich has been missing some crucial interceptions. I mean, he's basically dead. Do we switch Zadadka back to right back, then? Does that make sense? Do we get another sub? Is that a thing? Maybe? Um, <laughs> I don't think we do. Uh, I th I'm starting to think maybe we get Zadadka back into right back, at least. Yeah, Chris Richards can't really play. Can you play wing back? Yeah, okay. We'll we'll put him there. Um, <laughs> he can just be a defensive wing back. Uh, it's a weird formation we've got going. Uh, but do we get a sub out of interest? I don't think we do. No. Okay. <sighs> We're fourteen minutes away from third twelve. Eleven minutes away from penalties. Donnarumma just parried something. We had a shot. Go team. Oh, we're so dead. Is there any way we can get through a penalty shootout? We don't have our penalty taker on. They do have Messi, who's a famously pretty poor penalty taker. Oh my god. Oh my god. We made it to penalties. Oh my god. And we're at home. I don't know what to do. <laughs> we made it to penalties. This is to get to a Champions League final. Um, can I put Ida up first? He is the best penalty taker we have. Oh god, okay. Um, I don't know. Everyone's positive, except for Ida, right? Let's not put Ida first. I know this is a big call to put on a young player. Oh god, and Bertrand's anxious too. I mean, anxious doesn't mean they're gonna miss. But it doesn't feel great. Is that really it? I'm going Sirachi fifth. He's experienced. I'm I'm somewhat okay with that. Uh, Rashani can go sixth. Capolini. This feels like the biggest call I've ever made in my life. Hantanji. I'm actually going to put Richards last. He's, like, dead. But Dahlberg has just had the absolute game. Oh, not you. Dahlberg has just had the game of his life. If we were ever going to get through a penalty shootout. And we have won four this season, have we? We have won a lot. We've won three. Yeah, we won three in the Coupe de France and one in the Champions League. We are four for four in penalty shootouts this year. <sighs> Relax. Pick your spot. Don't change your mind. Oh god, they're first Neymar. Come on, Pontus. Come on, Pontus. For a Champions League final. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Good try, good try, good try. This is such a big ask. He's still so young. He's on loan from PSG, but he is coming to join us. Go and prove to them why they made a mistake. No, Xavi! Oh, no, he's a double agent. Messi's a terrible penalty taker. Dahlberg is saving this for sure. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Ida, you kind of got... Well, I think the pressure's kind of off you. Because you. there's already been one missed. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go. Dahlberg, pressure is on you. Ramos, Ramos is also kind of a bang average penalty taker. There's a lot of penalty takers that are... Okay, I should stop saying that. Whoever is next is the best penalty taker ever. Not not Bertrand, I mean their next penalty taker. <sighs> okay, I mean the pressure is off us. We're behind. Yeah, Jovic is the best. He's never ever missed a penalty. I don't think he can miss a penalty. It's going to go bang in the top corner. God damn it, Jovic. <sighs> Uh, it's getting so close to the end. If we miss this, we lose. Akeem Zidadka. Oh, Xavi. Oh, God. Okay. Dahlberg. It's you versus... What's Zidadka doing? Pontus Dahlberg versus... Ricky Puig. Puig? I've never heard his name said, but I think it's Puig. Puig? Puig? I don't know. Oh my god! Oh. I can't believe it. I mean, Dahl I, I can't fault Dahlberg. Yep, he didn't save a penalty, but... I mean, it was a heroic performance to get us that far. How often have you seen a goalkeeper get a 9? 
Oh, Xavi. Oh, I mean, that's my mistake. I put him first. I thought I thought he could handle the pressure. I was wrong. Um, maybe taking Bio off was a mistake. Maybe we should have saved that substitution. I mean, that is a phenomenal performance from just about everyone on the pitch. And Rashani wasn't great. <laughs> but, I mean, what more could they do? No, I, I don't care that you lost. No, not how to do better. No, outstretched arms. That was unbelievable. Good effort. Good bloody effort. And Dahlberg? Don't you don't you dare feel down. You were excellent. You were unbelievable. <sighs> you really pushed Paris Saint Germain all the way today. You must feel proud despite the result. End of the day, we took a much better team the distance. How good was Milankovic? I don't know. Magnificent, sure. Oh penalties. So close. <laughs> That hurts. Uh, the good news is, they're now in the Champions League final. Maybe they'll slip up in their last league game. Where they do have a good... They, Leon, is it? Um, we got 10 million for it. Yeah, good Good for you. Don't, don't, don't take any pain from that. You were fantastic. Um, it's okay. Uh, you, honestly, uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. <sighs> Painful. I I really thought we were going to win it there for a second. How disappointed? Yeah, it does give us a chance to focus elsewhere, which is the league, which is our main goal. Um, immediate thoughts? We can be proud. Unbelievable. More frustrating to lose a match where the standard of fishing... Yeah, honestly, the refs lost it for us. Um, but no, I'm not going to put more pressure on them. Uh, Champions League campaign now at the end. How will you reflect on your journey? We can be proud. I already said that. <sighs> that hurts. Um, well, let's see. When do we play them again? <laughs> how long until our next game with them? We have a week. Okay, we have a week's break. Um, when is the Champions League final? Because is that going to help us? Oh, no. They have a big, long break before it. Uh, maybe they'll still slip up. Anyway... Oh, I thought we had them. How many games did they lost this year? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven losses this year, and two of them have been against us. And one of them was against Rangers. <laughs> Rangers beat... Rangers had an... Un How did Rangers not get through this group? Rangers beat PSG, and they got a draw with Juve, I think? Jeez, not a bad effort. Um... Fair play to Rangers, who are apparently unreal, even though they don't have a manager. Oh, I did look at this. Gerard left them, like, three years ago, and they just haven't appointed a manager. <laughs> I don't know why, but clearly it's working, so I guess we don't need to worry. Um, I mean, we gave it our all. We have the Coupe de France final and the run into the league. Will this season end with three disappointments against PSG? Probably. Um, but I hope not. I hope we can get something. If I had to pick one, I would pick the league. If we can win the league and lose the Coupe de France and the Champions League semi-final, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad. Um, we gave that a hell of a go. <sighs> Conquering PSG, that's what this series is all about. Can we do it in any competition? Maybe. Um, I just realised we also lost the trophy to champions to them as well at the start of the season, which means <laughs> if this season ends with a loss in the cup final and failing to win the league, we will have lost four different tournaments against them. Every tournament we compete in will have been lost to PSG. Oh, that would be depressing. Um, well, let's hope it doesn't end that way. Thank you so much for watching. I hope... I gave you some hope, at least. That is that is my hope. That you gained a feeling of hopefulness from this team managing to get a 1-0 win when nobody thought they could. Next week, the end of the season. Will it end in heartbreak? Almost certainly. Until then, though, thank you. I will see you next time.